welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And we are now in 1.11.2. Oh yeah. Rocket powered flight. So awesome. It's not really because I prefer the bow because it actually takes skill to use the bow. Whereas it takes absolutely no skill to use these. And I, like, I was like, man, I have to learn the, how to use this bow when I could have just waited a little bit. But yeah, I've got some dr flight duration 2 rockets here, and also the bow is better since it can last much longer. And also they, like, they don't let you put infinity and, infinity and um, mending together, but this is an old bow, so I've got one of these, um, and it's... Hopefully it doesn't break, ever, <laughs> because if it does, then I'm going to have to resolve to using these, and that's not good. And the only good thing about these is that it doesn't damage you, really, and it's like a little bit more controlled, but I still prefer the bow. Because, like, you can control the bow even more if you, like, throw at it. It doesn't help that my mouse is Bluetooth and there's like a small delay. See, I like really far now. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand, I think, is that the rocket stays with you. Like when it when you fly, the rocket actually stays with you, and that's why if you have like a charge in it, it will hurt you when it blows up because you're like right there I think most people don't understand that so I just wanted to point that out right now um, because every every YouTube video I watch they're like why does it stay with me or like more like why does it hurt me and also I've got another beacon now but I just don't have the iron for it so yeah waiting on that one yeah <laughs> finally um, I might actually get gold this time on the beacon because why not and also today I would like to make a runway over here so I'm just gonna get some kind of smooth block and make a runway here uh, probably out of stone and something that's white and apparently I did yeah, imagine that. I think I like started the rocket before I went into the jump. Never mind. Let's get the building blocks. Oh yes, I forgot to mention. Um, out of camera, I was like really bored, and I like when I didn't have time to record, I just kind of went ahead and got myself on a rail. Sorry guys, I didn't put it on camera, but I can take it away from me and like go through the pains away. Wait, what? I can take away the achievement using commands and, and not have to go through the pains again of guessing it, but I will be able to show you how I did it. So yeah, it's your choice. Do you want to see it or do you want me to keep it? Because I have the rails here somewhere. All I have to do is just rebuild them. So yeah. Okay, so here we have our little area where we're gonna build and I just spat all over my mic, so that's disgusting. Okay, let me clean that. Okay. Ah, better. Um Okay, so we want it to be a about five wide, maybe, maybe more. That's gonna be five. If it's five wide now, we want it seven. One to the right. So something like this. Oh, I didn't get uh, the lane. 
GTX. I got the grand color, but not the lane. Never mind, uh, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. Um, so this just carries on going this way. Um, and I just had a few practices here um, with like my elytra and getting off. Uh, this is pretty much long enough, I think. Um, and what I think is going to be like the best way for this is if the um, projectile is coming from this way because then I don't have to walk anywhere like from all the way here when I land it's just not going to be as much of a pain so um, I've got some redstone lamps which are going to be like runway lights so that you can see at night and they're like going to be boom 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 sort of thing it's gonna be really awesome I've never built a runway before so this should be a little fun thing for me to do so let's add oh there's an invisible invisible block invincible that's funny it's invisible anyway now I'm just gonna add the stone into here and then I'm gonna change it to have the uh, uh, like lane markers or whatever. I've been on plenty of runways before, just I just haven't been there lately. Hmm. Do I want to make these stone slabs? I'll give them a try. Hmm. I'm not sure which one I prefer, people. Or oh, just guys. I'm gonna say guys now. Um. I'm not sure if I prefer the smooth or slightly bulked up but like brighter. Hmm. Huh. Not sure. I think I'm gonna go with the um stone slabs might uh, I don't know. This is such a, such a hard decision. Things I can change at any time, but I don't want to change it after this because I'm too lazy. The stone is like really simple, see, but it's smooth. And this is pointing in the direction I need to. Well, so is this. Okay, fair enough. Um, but this is like all clumped up and like it like it's not as smooth and like it's still a pretty easy block to get. I'm really not sure. I need help. Uh, let me just light this up real quick because it's, it's still dark here I thought I lit this up ages ago but apparently I didn't okay oh that's out I'm out of torches Actually, no, I'm going to have to go with this because this is too bright for the, um, for the thing there. So, yeah. Pushing it back to smooth the sting. Okay, so I thought I could get away with this being pretty small, but it's too small. Like, I, j I just came in from there to a pretty high speed and I completely missed this. I was like, whoops, had to go. So yeah, uh, this has to be quite a bit longer, um, I will probably extend it this way, um, I don't know how, but I will, and also this probably needs to be a bit wider, but I'll see later, because the wider it is, the more blocks I have to waste, and the longer it is, the more redstone I have to waste, so, and quartz, and blocks, <laughs> so yeah, let's see if I can repeat what I've just had, um, I ran out of my rocket, so I'm just gonna have to go old school right now. This is why you don't use Bluetooth mice, okay, people? Never use Bluetooth. Never. Just work already! Okay, good. Okay, so, imagine we're coming from pretty high speed straight up the ramp, or whatever it is, the runway. I would have missed that, okay? And now the world's not loading in. 
Really? I would have missed that again if I like didn't turn around, but to make it realistic I had I couldn't turn around, so I basically broke the law of physics right there. Or just broke physics. <laughs> but it's fine, um let me put away this dirt. So how should I build the rest of the ramp? Why do I say ramp? It's a runway. Okay. I'll need wood. But uh, I need to think. You know what? Let's take a break from that um, and let's go check out our farms real quick. So let's see how much sugar cane we have. Yeah, that's a fair bit. I was expecting like twice as much, but that's I, that's probably because I was expecting to build twice as much. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, the chickens are under here. Okay, <laughs> I was like, where are the chickens? Cool. Um. Anyway, let's see how our nether water's doing down here. Nice. Uh, this is ready to be harvested, I think. So, exactly what we're gonna do. I got a bunch more on me, um, because I got it from the nether, um, I went exploring in my, when I, when I was looking for wither skulls, well, when I was hunting for wither skulls, um, I, I decided to like wander around my fortress and I found a bunch of nether wart that I didn't harvest yet, so we're gonna, oh that's a lot of nether wart people, I am happy now, because it only takes four stacks to fill this all up and I have way more than four here. So, this is actually getting somewhere. I'm really happy. So yeah, let's, let's replant all this and then we'll get back to work with our runway. Like, it's okay for low speeds, but it's just when I'm going at high speeds from like a weird angle, it's like really hard for some reason. That's why I want to change it. To make it a bit longer, like twice as long maybe and possibly one block wider in every direction but I'll uh, I'll, I'll keep it the, the wider it is for now okay and this now so yeah see you in a bit something like this <coughs> Sorry, I uh, got a bit of a cold. But yeah, something like this should work just fine. Imagine that this is a sensor. Oh crap, it won't stop. Oh. Uh, where's that piece of redstone where I like, had a sensor that it's on? Okay, I'll have to find something. There we go, I got it working. I got hiccups now. Just like that. <laughs> uh, po sorry. Uh, but this is basically what I'm gonna put into my runway system, and this is gonna be how however long it needs to be. Um, what is this? Oh, it's just a mob killing thing. Test. Thing. Sorry, I've yeah, got stupid hiccups. I don't like hiccups. Okay. Stop misplacing. <coughs> Stop hiccuping. Is that how you say it? Hiccuping? Hicking? I don't know. Yeah, that's more like it. It goes in threes, it seems like. Even though it's not. Oh. <laughs> it's like out of range now, so it's like not loading too well, I guess. Yeah. Gonna put this into my single player world. Huh. We 
are coming awfully close to the villagers. But that's alright because this is only the staircase part, so it's not too bad. We're still like three blocks below them. Above them, I mean. But yeah, this is pretty much done now. Um, just gonna have to wait until night time now for to get this working, so. Yeah, can't wait now. Um, <laughs> and I'm also running out of time, so yeah, this is pretty much the last thing we can do for now. Um, then this is what it looks like here. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a few blocks hit over top. Um, and this might be quite just as far as I extend the runway, I'm just not going to have the lights here because it's kind of impossible to. Um, so yeah, nearly done. Um, pretty happy with myself and you know the zombie spawner thing? Yeah, can't be bothered to finish that ever. So I have just space for a bit more here. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, that is perfect. One block, it's one block here, and one block there. That's perfect. And I want to need to put some kind of barrier here. For safety, like this. In real life, they would have like a wire running here, but I don't think a tripwire would stop me going at full speed. So yeah, just a bit more to wait, and then I'll show you what this looks like. Mayday! Mayday! We're low on fuel! Uh, the world's not loaded yet. Why? We can't see! Help! Where are we shot? Let's come back round. And of course I can't see the lights working. I might need to get rid of the torches. <laughs> okay, that was a fail. Oh, they are working. I just need to get rid of the torches. And also, I need to get rid of the carpet so I can actually see them. So, yeah, gonna adjust this real quick and then we'll see what happens. Let's see what it looks like now. Um, I'm going to have to get a bit of lag because of lighting updates, so that might be a small problem because it's going to be running like all day long, I mean all night long. But yeah, this is definitely long enough and also I had a little problem here because it's running underneath the piston, shooting them with my uh, flying bow, that's always helpful. But yeah, uh, it's time for me to go, so I'm going to end the episode here, um, hopefully it wasn't too short, so I'm going to quickly check on our farms again, uh, just quickly, okay, cool, that did barely anything, so, wait, oh, I thought that was a spider jockey, I've been like, I haven't seen one in ages actually. Oh no, oh no, there's a baby zombie, I can't fight them. I fell down. Cool. Of course this guy survives. Oh crap! Oh, I'm about to die. Oh good, I shot him. Without even knowing where I was shooting. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Luckily that didn't do too much damage. Can't go. No. <laughs> this is such a fail. Oh. I'm gonna need to fix that later. I need to get rid of the speed. Because it's like what's killing me right now. Okay. 
that helps a little bit. Um, Done. <laughs> anyway, let's see what the nether water is like. Um, that's going quite a bit. Um, I can harvest it now and still get a profit, but I'm not going to because I want even an even bigger profit. Ah, I can't jump. Can't do anything. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.